You're watching Fugitive Red Eye, and welcome to another episode of Overanalyzing, the series where I take a more in-depth look at the fictional universes which I love. Once again, we're going to be diving back into the world of Devilman. Possible Today I'm going to be dealing with recently impossible stuff asked what happened to Miki after the events of Devilman. As you'd imagine, due to the nature of this question, there is going to be a ton of spoilers in this video, so you have been warned. A couple things I do want to let you know beforehand, though, is Devilman does have a lot of different sequels. Some of them follow the same timeline, and a lot of them have their own different continuity. So bearing that in mind, a lot of these are not interconnected, and, and there is only two sequels that Gonagai himself has confirmed are canon, that being Devilman Lady and Devilman Saga. I also want to point out I have not read every single Devilman manga. There's over 30 of them, so that's, you know, something I'm still working on. And Devilman Saga itself is still being written, so it's not finished. So I can't tell you definitively what happens in the canological ending. But I can tell you up to the point that it's at currently, or at least as far as it's been translated. So in the original Devil Man, Miki is killed in one of the later chapters, leading up to the climax of the series. That being said, Devil Man itself is all about reincarnation. I mean, each sequel is a different reincarnation of the world. It's sort of like a loop of time where everything gets reset. However, within these reincarnations, there's always major differences. Characters are reincarnated in different ways. They're not just a loop. It's not just the same thing over and over again, but rather it's different interpretations of the world. We'll start with the canon timeline. So the first actual canological sequel to Devil Man is Devil Man. Man Lady. Now in Devil Man Lady, for the earlier chapters, you can't even tell that it's a sequel. Of course, later on, Jun Fudo meets Akira Fudo in Hell, and Akira becomes a recurring character in Devil Man Lady. But as far as Miki goes, in one of the really late chapters, Jun actually meets Miki. You see, it's revealed in one of the later chapters, Jun's brother is actually the reincarnation of Tare, and Miki herself has also been reincarnated, and it's a bit weird because Tare and Miki were brother and sister in the original timeline, however, in Devil Man Lady, they're actually dating. In Devil Man Lady, you only see see Miki for that one brief scene where her and Tare are on a date and introducing themselves to June. June tells Miki about Tare's nickname being Tare, and that's how you know that he's a reincarnation of Tare. And then Tare goes, goes on to tell June what Miki's nickname is, Open Hand Miki, which if I'm not mistaken is a nickname she had in the, in the original series as well. We don't know what happens to her before or after this within that timeline, however we do know that she does die again, because as I said about the Devilman Lady climax, it is kind of anticlimactic because at the end of Devilman Lady there's just one scene that it says all of humanity was wiped from the face of the earth yet again. So it's due to that we know that Miki died. We don't know if she was killed by a demon or if she was killed by one of the forces of God or what, but she does die again. That brings us on to the third canon installment in Devil Man, the one that is currently still ongoing because Gonagai himself is still writing it. That is Devil Man Saga. Now Devil Man Saga takes place in yet another reincarnation of the world in the far future. However, this time Akira is once again the main character. Akira is reincarnated as a roboticist by the name of Yuki Fu. He runs a fairly successful robotics company, along with his wife, and since this video is about Miki, you probably guessed correctly, Miki is in fact his wife. While Miki does help Akira with his company, she is also a TV reporter. Now, since this is ongoing, I don't know whether or not she's going to die again, or whether, whether or not they're going to get a happy ending, but, but hey, they do get to get married in this timeline, so at least they're married up until this point. They're actually married sometime before the events that this manga starts, because it starts off with them already being married. All we know about her in Devilman Saga is she was she's married to Akira, she was covering for him while he was in America investigating the demon armors with Mendel Inc. And when he came back to Japan, she went back to reporting and the two of them are back together in their home. Since that's still being written, that's actually as far as it goes with Miki so far. I will of course mention in a later video if I find out what happens to her after that, but that's all we know about Devilman Saga so far. Now let's move on to a different timeline and continuity. One of the non-canon ones, but honestly my favorite one, that's the Violent Jack timeline. The Violent Jack timeline is actually a little bit more of a downer for Miki than the Devil Man canon timeline. The Violence Jack timeline, first off, in the original Violence Jack, she's reincarnated as what's called a dog person, meaning she's had her arms, legs, and tongue cut off, and she's a slave to the Slum King. Slum King rides around with her on a chain along with Ryo, and she's just useless. She's just a meat puppet at that point. That's literally all you really see of Mickey in Violence Jack. Again, I haven't been able to read the later chapters after chapter 27, because again, Violence Jack itself has not been translated in its entirety, even though it was written back in 1974. However, there is a different version of Mickey in Shin Violence Jack. Now, like I said before, I don't know if Shin Violence Jack is a sequel or a remake because it's very confusing. I still think it's probably more of a remake because there are some differences, but I don't know because some of those differences I cannot confirm. Now, as far as that goes, Miki in Shin Violence Jack is slightly better than Miki in regular Violence Jack. Uh, she's first introduced as a dog with her head on it and she can't talk. And then later on, the dog finds Miki's body and they merge back together and become Miki. Unfortunately, I don't know what happens after that because that's as far as I've been able 
able to read in Shin Violence Jack. Now let's talk about a couple other continuities and adaptations altogether. Ones that aren't actually sequels, but are different interpretations of the character. There's of course the 1972 anime of Devil Man, which has a much happier ending than the actual manga. If you don't know, the anime actually follows a completely different continuity than the manga. And in the 1970s anime, at the end, Miki actually ends up with Devil Man. They end up together. And the reason I say Devil Man, not Akira, is because Akira is actually very minor in the 70s anime because he actually dies in the first episode. And then Devil Man takes over his body and takes his place. Well, in the end, she finds out who he is, she accepts him, and the two of them end up together. That's where the 70s anime ends. And then, of course, there's Devil Man Grimoire, which I am still reading. I've currently read the first three volumes. In Devil Man Grimoire, Miki is much more prominent than she is in any of the others. So in Devil Man Grimoire, Miki is actually the one who summons Ammon, and originally Ammon was supposed to possess Miki, but instead possessed Akira. And in this version, Ammon is possessing Akira, not Akira becoming Devil Man. But because Akira's will is strong enough that to make him not hurt Miki, Ammon won't hurt Miki. And eventually Ammon falls in love with her. Miki herself actually helps Ammon gain more power because she is his original summoner. She has some sort of power over him. She's originally depicted as a witch who wasn't actually sure if she was a witch, and I'm honestly still not sure if she actually was or if it was mere coincidence, but she's depicted as a witch to begin. Then she trains to fight, and then eventually she actually becomes a Devil Man herself, along with the demon Phyrim or Flam, depending on the translation. But she actually merges with Phyrim to be become a Devil Man, the first actual Devil Man in Devil Man Grimoire. Another continuity is, of course, Devil Man vs. Hades. Uh, I have not finished that, I have only currently read the first volume. However, I do assume Miki will be integral to the plot of it, because the whole thing is about Akira going through hell to try and find Miki's soul. There is actually a chapter where he thinks he finds Miki at first, but it turns out to be a Jinmen illusion, so she's not actually in it at that point either. But I don't know what happens there, again, I haven't read volumes 2 or 3, but uh, once they come out in the US, I will of course be doing that. But yeah, that's so far all of what I know of what's happened to Miki. Like I said, unfortunately, I have not read absolutely everything yet. I do intend to at some point. But for now, that's all I know about what happened to Miki. So far, as far as I know, in the actual canon timeline, she is alive and well and married to Akira. As far as non-canon timelines and Violence Jack, was a slave to the Slum King. I don't know what happens when Ryo re reawakens because I don't, I haven't been able to read those chapters. On top of that, I also don't know what happens to her after she merges back together in Shin Violence Jack. I think she's alive and well in Shin Violence Jack as well, but I don't know. And Devil Man vs. Hades, I'm assuming they're going to find her at some point, and that's going to be like a climax of it. However, I have heard that Devil Man vs. Hades doesn't have a definitive ending, so I don't know for sure. But anyway, this has been Fugitive Red Eye. Uh, do let me know uh, if, you, if you have any suggestions for future episodes of Overanalyzing. Let me know in the comments what you thought of this episode. And as always, you have a great day.